What's cracking, everybody? It's the people's champ. Mr. All Gas, No Breaks. I'd like to thank every last one of you guys that subscribed to the channel. They got your notifications on. They hit likes on the videos. Them likes really been getting the videos pushed up to where it's recommended. Must watch and all that. Carrying on, however they worded. Them likes really been doing great. The comments have been doing great and good. And some of the bad ones like so all of them are doing great so um what this video is it's a it's a hot topic that goes on in my shorts everybody is like Mac you're not a god you're not a god Jesus is whoop de whoop this and repent and 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 all this bullshit I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm not religious now I grew up in a church Christian with my family and all of that grew up in a church and all and there are so many holes in the story of the bible the bible is written by man the bible is designed to make you live in fear of someone else's story and not really live your life to create your own story it's my opinion so like now that i'm older because i always never believed it as a child i can remember going to church at three four years old falling asleep in there getting pinched to wake up and you know i was never understanding at an early age why i must fear god like i don't want my children to fear me it's about respect and love i fear no one but god what the fuck i'm gonna fear god for if i'm supposed to love and respect him why the fuck would I fear that motherfucker, right? This is what I always would think. So, as I become spiritual, and I've been spiritual all of my life, my aunts raised me into a lifestyle of being free, freedom of speech, and looking at life as how it is, all the beauties in it, and paying attention to the fields of the vibrations and the energies and all of that and not being so stuck on trying to walk a life of what a book that was man-made is trying to force me to do okay i never forced my religion i mean my, not my religion i never forced my belief on those that's religious i never speak on my belief i post it in my story uh, some of my old tattoos whatever on my back I have some Egyptian stuff and then I have Bathymus on top those that's been brainwashed swear up and down that Bathymus is the devil, Lucifer uneducated per peoples on that that's only been taught that oh it's a pentagon and this and that those that's what they believe you see what I'm saying now what I don't like is they jumps to conclusions of trying to pass judgments and telling me how I should walk my life. That's why I don't like religious peoples because they're the most judgmental hypocrites there is. They go bust their ass wide open Monday through Saturday then go into church and think that they can uh, repent and they can be forgiven and all of this. Like, come on now. The one thing that they fuck up at is they always trying to recruit. They think that they're spreading the word. They trying to help someone that ain't asking for help that don't look like they need help. You got to respect everybody's belief. I respect everyone's belief. When I say I am a God, I am a God. And can't nobody tell me different. You see what I'm saying? Like, and then you got those that's hit me up. Oh, Kelly talking about you. Kelly's called you a demon. I am. But this is the thing. I'd rather be me than to be a person that's doing all these devilish things and then try to hide behind God talk to me. God didn't say a motherfucking thing to you. You see what I'm saying? You say, oh, oh, God love me, you know, and these demons and demonic mindset and shooting dope up and all of this peptides there's not illegal to shoot peptides up on camera i shoot peptides i took a human growth hormone shot right 
this motherfucker walking around looking like a crackhead. He looked like he has AIDS or HIV, period. Skin is terrible, which means what? There's no omega-3s or fish oils in that. And you guys are listening to uh, religious words from this idiot. Come on now. If I want to know something, I'm not fit to go to someone that's a major contradictor, which is religious peoples. Y'all are major, major contradictors. You know, you pass judgment on everyone that don't want to walk your life. Don't want to live in your belief. Don't want to be a part of your religion. And for some reason, y'all are infatuated with going into a building on a Sunday thinking that that's given to y'all Lord and Savior and making you so much better and so much greater if it's in your heart it's in wherever you are in the opening in your house church should be in your heart church shouldn't be in your in a building but y'all talking all this why your God answer this why y'all God let a devil come into the church and slaughter those in front of him them praising him why your God do that? Why your God let these babies, innocent babies, get their lives taken by straight bullets and everything? Your God. But me, spiritual, and knowing that the universe and energy is everything, I know that there's no questioning that when those type of things happen because energy is a motherfucker, you know, spirituality is is wide open it's not in a box there's nothing about spirituality tell you how you're supposed to walk how you're supposed to be what you're supposed to do who you're supposed to judge or none of that there's nothing about that and by me saying i am a god for those of you that's religious you stupid motherfuckers should know already in that book it say man is uh uh it's the image of god which mean that if god if you're the image of god which mean that you are a god as well now you don't gotta say that you are the God. You motherfuckers are so ig I mean, you guys are so ignorant, so infantile, and y'all think that y'all know it all. And y'all, oh Jesus, this that man, y'all don't know what happened to Jesus. Y'all don't even know if it was a Jesus. But y'all are so stuck on that. If you want to get into heaven, wherever I go, I'm gonna know somebody. Bottom line, wherever I go, I'm gonna know somebody. I'm not fit to go and be sitting here living and trying to get somewhere that I don't know exists. But the one thing that I do know exists is energy, the universe, vibrations. I know that exists. So as long as I continue living in that, I'm good. I'm blessed. I'm happy. I'm not passing judgment. I call things how I see it. I call a spade a spade. I'm not kissing no one's butt. I'm not letting no man feed me fruit. I'm not doing none of that. And then running back talking about what God did. God don't condone that. God, your God don't condone you doing sexual acts with a man. You getting fed intimately fruits with a man is against that Bible. So if we gonna talk about it, cause like I said, I was brought up in the church but I'm spiritual because I don't believe in what y'all believe in. I don't believe in your God. We don't believe in the same God. Mac, who is your God? The universe, energy, vibrations. That's my God. And I am a God. So I know it's going to ruffle a lot of feathers. Those of you don't like it, go in the comments. Speak on how you feel. Because the one thing y'all know is Mac Truck comment to y'all. I'm not like the rest of them YouTubers that don't comment to you guys. I comment to you guys. Chris Jones comment to you guys. You see what I'm saying? And y'all say, oh, it's because you don't have a lot of followers. Chris Jones has over double the amount that I have, and he comments to you guys. So that right there is proof that it's in me, not on me, which means that I will continue doing it how I've been doing it. You see what I'm saying? And Chris Jones, that's my guy. I met him one time in person, right? Instantly, that energy that man carries, 
was amazing. He's real. He's transparent. He does not judge no one. You see what I'm saying? He's out here teaching and spreading the word of health and wealth and having fun with it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, that's why I got so much love and respect for him because he have not changed. He's been who he is from the gate. He have not changed. Everybody else out there, they're changing because why? They got personas. They trying to figure out who they are. Why? Because most of them got their face so stuck in that book of the, the Bible to where they don't know what to live because they want to be like uh, Joseph and Joe and all these uh, names that's thrown in there. But yet, if that book's so powerful, why is everything been turned on top of the head with those of you that really follow that book? Why are y'all the ones struggling? Why are y'all the ones that's always getting short end of the stick when it comes to what? A lot of things. And we ain't talking about financial and finances and all of that. We talk about things that goes deeper than that. Anyway, I didn't want to make no video about religion, spirituality, and none of that. But my channel is a lifestyle channel. So I talk about and share and show all type of things that I do. I'm not just no goddamn bodybuilder and fitness and all of this and all of that. I'm so much more. I live in I live in my 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 world. I stay in my lane. I don't get into nobody else's beliefs. I don't care about who they pray to, who they believe in, who they follow. That's none of my concern. So y'all that be in that good book that think that y'all sharing and spreading the word, stop passing judgment because you still committing sins. Y'all are the worst. Y'all are the worst, hands down. Why? Because y'all really think that y'all are somebody and y'all going to some, to some heaven. While you in hell right now, living in all this fucked up shit, get used to it because that's gonna, that's gonna be exactly how it is when you check out. <laughs> ah, I know y'all motherfuckers bad at me. Ah, lick the book and read something to me. Put your verses in the comments. Put your verses in the comments. Anywho, it's the people's chat. Giving it to you gun barrel straight, raw and uncut. No filter. No Vaseline. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button on this video. Hit the like button even if you watched it and you don't agree with what I'm saying. Hit the like button. Hit the thumbs down button. Hit one of them. Leave a comment. Hit the bell so you can get the notifications. And I'll holler at y'all later. Smile you dudes later. Yeah.